How's it going folks? Mike with Drone Deer Recovery. You guys have been asking to do a comparison between the 4T and the 4TD. D as in Delta. What does the D stand for? It is the dock version. What is a dock? Well, DJI built this dock that lets you fly the drone into the dock. That's what this drone was built for, but we use it for a lot more than that because it comes in a nice carry case and allows you to fly it just like any other drone, but it's the dock version versus just the normal T version. That being said, I'm also going to have the 30T right here because I know if I don't do this in this same video, you guys are going to be asking me, well, how does it compare to the 30T and, and stuff? So we'll be bouncing back and forth. I'll try to keep it interesting or short as I can, but this video is more specifically talking about the different sizes and how the arms fold or unfold or that type of stuff. It's not talking about the camera and the image between the 4TD and the 4T because the camera on the 4T and the D version are the exact same. Same AI features, same camera, same quality, same everything. So if you want to see what the camera looks like, you can always watch our 4T versus 30T comparison. Let's get started. The 4T, right off the bat, we see this is its carry case and you can have everything in this carry case. All the batteries, the charger, the controller, everything, nice and neat, compact, all fits in here. Very, very nice. See, drone is folded up, it goes in here, nice. The biggest difference you're going to see in the 4TD is slightly bigger carry case. Now again, everything fits in here. Charger, batteries, drone, controller, the, the whole nine yards. This carry case has two extra latches that the 4T doesn't have. It has the two in the front, one on this side, and then one on this side. Everything fits in here nice and neat. It's probably a cleaner look than the 4T case because it is a bigger case and you got more room to put stuff. So everything fits in there really nice. Now this is the, the 30T. You guys have seen me, this drone is a great drone. I've been using it for many years. But the problem is you cannot get your battery charger into your 30T case. This is the battery charger for your 30T. You can put the batteries in your case, but you always have a second case with the 30T. This is what the 30T would look like. You have your aircraft, your controller, you can have your batteries in here. I can get everything into this case, but I still have to carry my battery charger with me. That's why it's nice. The 4T and the 4TD, everything fits in to the case itself. The 4TD is fixed like its arms are unfoldable. Like if you fold these things, you've broken them, okay? So do not try to fold these arms. They're built to do this. It's built to land into the dock and then take off without ever having a human do anything to it. That is why its arms are fixed like that. It fits right into the carry case with its arms like that, along with the controller and the batteries and everything. So that's the biggest difference if you look between the 4TD and the 4T. I have to open up the 4T. See this? Not a huge deal. The spotlights, the exact same spotlight goes on the 4D, same on the 4T. Now, there is a small little bracket on your spotlight when you get it in your box. On the AL1 spotlight, there is a small bracket that you will remove two little Allen screws on the bottom of this AL Spotlight, you will remove those Allen screws and then it will fit on your dock version of the 4TD. So this one small little change on the AL1 Spotlight. So the size difference between the 4T and the 4TD, slightly bigger. Obviously, you can tell by looking at it that this unit is slightly bigger. It does hold a bigger battery than the 4T does but for the most part, it's not a huge, huge difference. Like going from this to the 30T, this is like in the middle between a 4T and the 30T, This the TD fits right in the middle. Now this is the 30T up against the 4TD. You can see it is quite a bit bigger. This is a brute of a drone, but this drone also carries two batteries at the same time. So you can hot swap, you can 
slide out one side of the battery, change, put a new fresh one in so you can hot swap on the 30T on the batteries where you cannot do that with the 4TD and the 4T. But the boot up time on the 4TD and the T is super fast. On the batteries, this is a 4T battery and this is the 4TD battery. You can see that this battery, the 4TD battery is bigger than the 4T. And then these would be the batteries for the M30T. You need two of these to fly the 30T where you only need one for the 4TD and one for the 4T. A biggest difference on the 4T and the 4TD battery is how it gets put into your aircraft. So on the 4T, I can literally just go and slide this in and it locks in. Now the 4TD has these extra little clips. You see this? You have to have these open. Then you can take this and you just push it in there. And the way they lock in has these little spring loaded clips right here that really clicks in there. And then you bring those clips down and you lock it. What you're doing is you're locking those spring loaded clips from having no chance of opening. And the reason they did that is because they are looking at this aircraft as flying from a dock where there's no humans around and they don't want it going down, bouncing or something. And then the battery falling out like this could. That's why they have those extra locking on the back of your battery for the 4TD. That's the biggest change on the batteries between the 4T and the 4TD is when I go to take it out, I just pop these two, push in and out it comes. Same, super easy. Once you do it, not that hard. That's the biggest thing. On the 30T, if I were to put these batteries in, really easy. So they're in, I push this little orange clip, slides that battery out. Then I just take another battery and I push it in and it's clipped, easy. So the battery charging systems from the 4T to the 4TD and the 30T, they vary a lot from one to the next. So on the 4T, this charger is what we call the rapid charger. This is the 200 watt and this is in the Elite Drone Day Recovery Kit. We also sell this as a standalone unit that you can add to your essentials kit or your basic kit. This 200 watt charges three batteries simultaneously and it allows you to supercharge your batteries faster than the standard hub that comes with the 4T. So this would be the charging system for your 4T if you get the 200 watt. If you don't get the 200 watt, it's a charging hub. Your batteries just slide into a hub, but this is how you would charge it with a 200 watt. Now the standard charger that comes with the 4TD is a battery hub like this, and then you slide your battery in like this, but the difference is, is out of the factory from DJI, this hub supercharges this battery. It uses a 240 watt charger and it supercharges these batteries really rapidly. It does not charge three batteries at the same time. It only charges one and then goes to the next and then goes to the next. But this charges so fast, we'll talk about it a little bit later here once I show you the 30T. But this thing charges like a madman. So that's your charging system. And again, look how nice, neat. It just easily folds up, goes right into your carry case. Here is your charging for your 30T. Not a big deal, just a second box. You plug it in and you just slide your batteries right in here and they charge as pairs. This holds eight batteries, but it doesn't charge all eight batteries at the exact same time. It does the one set, goes to the next set, goes to the next set. That's how the charging system works on the M30T. Charging speeds for the 4T. I don't recall exactly what the 4T battery uh, charge was. We may have had it on our other video. I think it's between 35 and maybe 40 minutes. That's why you, if you want to fly all day, you want to get that 200 watt charger to charge it faster. I love the DJI 4TD charging system. This thing is nuts. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen since I've been flying drones. If I start off with 90% battery, in my 4TD and I'm not being a ramrod, meaning I have it in sport mode and I'm full throttle this way, full throttle that way, full throttle up, full throttle down. Like if I'm not acting like that, 
I can take a 90% battery and fly it till I get to 15% for right around 30 to 35 minutes. So keep that number in mind. 30 to 35 minutes I can fly between 90 and 15%. If I put that battery on this charger, this charger will charge that battery from 15% back up to 90% in almost every time that I've tested it in almost exactly 28 to 29 minutes. That's insane. I literally don't think I've ever had a drone that will supercharge the battery faster than the drone consumes it. Now on the 30T, we never had a charging issue. They also charge very rapidly. You have different settings. You can put it you know, to 100% to 90%, just like you can on the uh, 4TD. But those batteries, again, it's been a while since I've flown it, but I think it's right around that 30 to 40 minute mark. If you have enough batteries, you never run out. So that's the most impressive thing about the 4TD is the charging speed on those batteries. If you're buying the Elite kit where you're going to do it as a business, I highly recommend getting the Elite kit that has three batteries because I don't have thousands of hours yet with this system to know if you can indefinitely fly with two without ever having an error, okay? You really don't wanna be on such a thin line in your business that maybe you have a battery overheat or some air comes up. You definitely want three in the kit. On the gimbals covers, they're basically the same from the 4T to the 4TD. You just push it across the gimbal like that. Guys have asked me in the comments, how do you, I like that? Honestly, I think it's okay. Those are the airframes. See, this is just maybe a smidge smaller than the 4TD, but again, it does the same thing. You just slide it in there and then it kind of clips in there. It's a little rubbery piece. That's the airframe between the 30T, the 4TD and the 4T. The controllers, they're the same thing for the 4T and the 4TD. I have this cover. It's a cover that you can get on the website. It's the same exact controller from the one 4T to the 4TD, same thing. The 30T's controller, very, very similar. This is the RC Plus. This is the RC Plus 2. You know, there's a few different plugs on the first version. The second version doesn't have all that. You guys can see all those details on the other video, like I already told you. Love the controllers. Not much to say differently there. Maybe one more brief thing between the 4T and the 4TD is the propellers. The 4T is really easy to change the propellers. It's like a Mavic. So you push down and you give it a quarter turn and your propeller comes off. Super easy, very convenient. The 4TD does not allow you to do that. It is a more complicated situation. You take a little Allen screw, turn it out, put your other set of propeller on, turn the screw back in. So just more time putting these propellers on. You will see that the propellers are different. The sound of this 4TD is just, it's got its own unique sound. Honestly, it sounds more of like a fan. It's more of like a than it is like a zzzz. It doesn't sound like that. It's really quiet. We've been reusing it a lot. I like it. I've been flying, just today I flew it for like two hours looking for cows. Great drone. This is just a brief on the cameras because I've already gone over this on, in other videos. Thermal, then you have a wide angle lens, a medium lens, and then a zoom lens. I say this works very similar to like your iPhone. On the back of my iPhone, I have three different lenses. I can choose, you know, a wide angle, a medium shot, or a tighter shot. That's how the cameras are set up, but when you zoom in on something, you can start all the way on the wide angle, you pull the dial on your controller, and you will zoom in from wide to as tight as 112X. You can see that it's jumping lenses, just like you would on your phone. So that is how the lenses work on the 4TD. It's the exact same payload on the 4T. Again, 4TD has anti-collision sensors all around it. We got them all over. We have strobe lights for night flying. Yeah, you got sensors all over the place on the 4TD. So for the ultimate question that everybody asks me, and then I just don't know exactly how I wanna answer it, but then I am like, that's why you guys are asking me, because you want me to tell you exactly what I think. Mike, is the 4TD better? than the 4T. 
So I would say yes, it is better. Because it's IP55 rated, allowing me to fly in rain, it is slightly faster than the 4T, and the battery supercharge. Another thing that I've noticed with the 4TD, and this is not a huge thing, the, the something small that we've seen is the connection between this drone and the controller for some reason, and I don't know why, is slightly better than the 4T. And the 4TD is great. The thing is insane, okay? It's insane, the 4T is insane. But this thing, for some reason, has slightly better reception. And I don't know, is it because of how the arms are mounted? Maybe the antennas are in a different spot, but it just feels like the connection is better on the 4TD. So there you go, that's just a brief going over the hardware differences between the 4T and the 4TD and the 30T. Now you guys already know that the 4T is a powerhouse of a drone. It's a great drone. The 4TD, who is it for? Like I have to start thinking about that. Because the 4T is so good, that thing is so good. I've done things with it that you maybe shouldn't. This is IP rated. I've flown this in the rain, haven't had a problem. I don't tell you to do the same thing. I'm just saying I can do everything with the 4T as I can with the 4TD, okay? I can literally do everything with the, the 4T as I can with the 4TD. I wanna make myself clear on why would you buy this? You would buy this if you have a bigger budget, right? This thing's going to cost you probably four to $5,000 more than the 4T will. So you have a bigger budget and you also wanna fly in rain. Like you want to fly an aircraft that is rated to fly in rain. Not take Mike Yoder's word to fly your 4T in rain and then the thing comes falling down out of the sky because, well, Mike did it and so I'm going to do it as well, right? I do it, I'm not saying that you should do it. That's why you would want to buy the 4TD. It's rated to fly in rain. And the last thing why you would want to maybe buy the 4TD is it does fly, get this, a whopping, 13 mile an hour faster. I wanna add in here that the top speed on the 4T in sport mode is about 34 to 35 miles per hour. And the top speed of the 4TD in sport mode is right at about 47 miles per hour. It's not a huge difference, but like I said, 13 mile an hour faster. So for most people, you're not going to be like, shoom, that thing's so much faster. No, you will probably never know the difference, but it is 13 miles an hour faster than the 4T is. So if you're looking to fly in a bit stronger of wind, right? Now it would tell you, you can probably fly in that 40 to 43 mile an hour wind and still be okay. I'm not telling you to do it, but you wouldn't want to do that with a 4T. So that's why you wouldn't want the 4TD. But that's the breakdown. I do love the 4TD. I will be flying it this year doing deer recoveries. I've already been doing deer recoveries with it. I don't know if I can say it's my go-to. It's just a great drone. I like that the carry case, everything fits in there. It's not a giant case. Super convenient. Just another great drone that DJI brought to the market. And I think if you got the budget for it, why not? by the 4TD. All right, guys. So I hope this video was a useful information for you guys to help you make a better decision on what drone you might want to buy. I'm telling you, it doesn't really matter what drone you end up buying, the 4T or the 4TD. They are both great drones. Just one is slightly made for a different mission, but they can do everything very, very similar. There you go. That's all I got for you guys on today's video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up. And we'll see you guys on the next one. And we got some really good recoveries coming, all righty? So you're gonna wanna stick around.